Hello and welcome. My name is Bradley Mayer Harmon and today I have the pleasure of sitting down with Rob Duffy. Rob is running for town council in the town of Orangeville. Thank you very much for being here today. Thanks for having me. So today I want to talk to you about a very important subject that's on a lot of people's minds, which is uh, property taxes. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, uh, it's an ongoing concern and uh, a lot of people and voters specifically want to know how the next council is going to address it. Okay. Uh, if elected, what would you do to reduce taxes or at least limit its growth? Okay. Well, I've been asked to address the question, do I think taxes are too high? I don't think there's anyone who's paying property tax in this town who's not of the opinion that taxes are too high. This is the first and for the most part the only question I get faced with speaking with town homeowners. And let's face it, they're not simply a little high, but significantly so. It's the point where it's affecting home sales. I've seen many properties here linger on the market for months on end and why? I can tell you from my own experience, when we bought our home here, the tax situation nearly drove us from the sale. It certainly affected our flexibility when it came to the price we were willing to pay. For most homeowners, their home is their most significant asset and its current market value likely negatively affected by property taxes. Is it fair that their equity is being kept artificially low because property taxes are driving prices down? I spoke to an older resident recently who had just lost a spouse and they were concerned about their ability to maintain their home because of their tax bill. I know that our property tax bill is the biggest expense we have, outdistancing groceries, utilities and gas by a significant margin. This begs the question, what do we do about it? Well, I don't have an easy answer to this. There isn't one significant area in the 2018 budget that I would point to and say, hey, if we got rid of this, everything would be fine. What I do have is a solid commitment to finding the efficiencies within the existing structure. I think the answer lies not in focusing on one specific area, but looking at the budget as a whole. I think we need to freeze discretionary spending immediately with an eye towards finding efficiencies. This has been the hallmark of other municipal councils mandates in places with bigger population bases than us and this has been done quite successfully for a number of years. My goal is to freeze or even reduce spending where we can and freeze property taxes at current levels. I would like to see over the next four years spending brought under control, taxes lowered to a reasonable level. This is in keeping with the council's stated vision and values and is not only an attainable goal but a necessary one for the people of this town to achieve a decent quality of life. Well, thank you very much, Rob, for addressing this very important issue. And uh, certainly, uh, we look forward to seeing what else you have to say. Thank you. If you'd like to see more about what Rob has to say, please do take a look at the links below. And thank you for watching. <laughs>